In tonight's For the People coverage, Washington's 4th Legislative District covers Spokane Valley and Liberty Lake. Two Republicans are vying for the spot to represent District 4, Position 2. Well, running for re-election is incumbent Rob Chase, who has one term under his belt. He faces Leonard Christian, who was appointed to the position in 2014 and served for 11 months. Bronte Sorotsky joins us in studio tonight with why they'd like to represent you for District 4. Well, although both candidates are Republicans, they each have a very different vision for that district in Washington. Rob Chase has served as the District 4 Position 2 representative for one term. It says he'd like to serve for another. Introduced 17 bills uh, while I was there, and most of them I wrote myself, uh, trying to fill needs that I think that were uh, wanted in the 4th District. He faces Leonard Christian, another Republican who has served in office in this position for 11 months after being appointed by county commissioners due to a vacancy. Christian says he's running against Chase because he doesn't believe he's gotten enough done. And looking back over my opponent's uh, two years that he's been there, he's accomplished nothing for the people of the 4th. Uh, he's spent his time running bills that would divide our state in half. Chase does support a plan to divide Washington in half. Heavily dense populations in uh, King, Pearson, Snohomish counties. If we had our own state, we would have our own governor, our own legislature, our own two U.S. senators, and our own brand new constitution that we could write. Christian is opposed to the split and says something like this could bankrupt Spokane. The two also disagree on election security. I think it's a huge issue. I think next to COVID, it's like the biggest issue of uh, this election. The thing, you know, a lot of people could not believe that um, President Biden got 81 million votes. Christian says people in Spokane don't need to worry about their vote safety. Uh, I don't think any system in the world is perfect, but I do believe we, in, at least in Spokane, probably in Washington State, have secure elections. And I, uh, watching the process of how the ballot comes in and the signatures are verified. Both candidates can agree that they'd like to lower taxes. We have another gasoline tax coming along here the 1st of January. In a time that we can barely afford gas to get to work, uh, I think the families don't want another gas tax coming on board. So I think we need to at least try to repeal that. The speech I gave on the floor was uh, beware of inflation because that the inflation tax uh, it doesn't care how old you are or what color you are. You know, it hits everybody. Both candidates do agree that they'd like to bring back police pursuits to address the state's crime. Live in studio, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now.